Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. And these liberals are really off their rockers. Uh, Georgetown University will give preference and admissions to the descendants of slaves owned by the Maryland Jesuits as part of its effort to atone for profiting from the sale of enslaved people. Now, it's closing in on 200 years ago. I, I can't, it's 178 years. If you go uh, by 30 years as a generation, um, that's about six generations, probably more than that. Exactly how do you intend to find out who's who? You're going to be flooded with people who are going to say, well, yeah, I'm the son of the slaves. They're leaving themselves up open for all sorts of trouble. And when they start getting sued by people saying, well, yeah, I'm the son of a slave and you're not giving me preference. And they get sued, I'm going to sit here and laugh at them. <laughs> I'm laughing at them now. They're wacky, nutcase, guilt ridden liberals who don't realize that that was a long time ago. They think it was yesterday. Now, in 1838, two priests who served as president of the university orchestrated the sale of 272 people to pay off debts of the school. Slaves were sent from Maryland to plantations in Louisiana. So, the university says it will give the sentence of these slaves the same consideration we give to members of Georgetown community when they apply. Georgetown President John DeGioa penned a letter to students and faculty Thursday writing, I believe the most appropriate ways for us to redress the participation of our predecessors in the institution of slavery is to address the manifestations of the legacy of slavery in our time. What's he talking about? This guy's an idiot. So, we'll take a look at Here's the Articles of Agreement between Thomas F. Mullody of Georgetown, District of Columbia of one part and Jesse Beatty and Henry Johnson of the state of Louisiana on the other part, 19th June 1838. And here it describes the sale and the agreement and all this. Thomas F. Moldy sells to Jesse Beatty and Henry Johnson 272 Negroes, to Wit Isaac, a man 65 years of age, Charles, his oldest son, so on and so forth. They're just insane. Now, I agree that slavery is wrong. That isn't the point. There's nothing we can do about it. I mean, this happened 178 years ago. This is a completely different world. This country tore itself apart over this issue. Actually, uh, some say it was something else, but slavery was right in there. It's always an economic thing with warfare. 
because the North didn't want the competition from the South having uh, free labor. That's what it amounts to. At any rate, but these good, good, de these uh, do gooders, that's what I'm trying to say, they are just out of their minds. No, I don't think we should have ever had slavery, but it's history. Get over it, people. It happened. I may not like it, but it happened. It's just the way it is. Slavery used to be considered an honorable economic thing throughout the world. It was the United States that said, screw this, this is wrong. And the world hasn't been the same since. There's still an active slave trade. If you people, if you liberals want to atone for slavery, let me give you a little clue. There's still an active trade slave, slave trade in what they call Africa. So, you know, if you really want to uh, atone for something, why don't you liberals work to end that? And let me tell you something, your uh, friendly Muslims are supposedly the ones who actually started this type of uh, barbarity. I haven't looked that one up. That's what I've heard on talk shows. So, you people at Georgetown University, get a grip. You're out of your minds. You're leaving yourselves open for all sorts of lawsuits and trouble. God only knows what. Like I said, I'm going to sit here and laugh. I will laugh at you. When you uh, start getting sued over this, oh, I'm a descendant of these slaves. I can prove it. This is going to be fun to watch. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.